welcome back. Well, the point for today is when you feel like you're in the dark, let Jesus be your light. Today at Connect HQ, they're gonna be lighting things up with a little bit of flashlight tag. Let's see what that has to do with today's point. My flashlight batteries died and I couldn't see and I uh, kind of made a lot of noise. I don't mind if it's a noise. I'm just glad it's not the leaping lounge lemur. <laughs> the, the what? You know, the, the... Mike made that up, didn't he? <laughs> we are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and we never know what might happen. My name's Dot, and this is the time I learned how Jesus lights my way. There, that does it. Woo, what a great day. Oh, it's a video call from Edison. Hi, Edison. Hey, you Dot. How are you? Where are you? I haven't seen you for a couple days. I'm at home, packing. Oh. Oh. I was offered a position at HQ2, and I wanted you to be the first to know. I'll be overseeing all of their technology. <laughs> Still can't believe they chose me. Like, really, I don't know why they chose me. That's amazing. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Oh man, I sure am gonna miss seeing you around here. Thanks, Doc. I'm excited, but I'm also pretty nervous. Uh, speaking of which, I was wondering if you'd like to come with me. <laughs> you know, kind of like my right-hand man. <laughs> or, uh, you, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, wow. Wow, uh, I, I don't know. I'm honored, but I, I don't know. Can I have some time to think about it? Of, of, of course. Man. How cool would it be for us to take on this new adventure together? <laughs> right. So cool. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll see ya. Gotta tell the rest of the crew. Okay. Bye. <sighs> okay, Kat. You honestly like water over orange soda? I mean, I know it's healthier, but I... Hey, Dot. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, is everything all right? Yeah. No, I don't know. I've been walking around HQ for what seems like forever now. Usually that helps me sort things out, but I think it just made me more confused. You know, we just got off a video call with Edison. Is this about him inviting you to join him at HQ2? Yes. What do I do? On the one hand, Edison is one of my best friends. But on the other hand, so are you guys. But on the other, other hand, It'd be a great new adventure. But on the other, other, other hand? There's just so much to think about. You know, Dot, whenever you don't know what to do next, you can always talk to Jesus. When you feel like you're in the dark, let Jesus be your light. That is a great thought, Kat. When you feel like you're in the dark, let Jesus be your light. I need to make a list. Um. No, that's not what we said. No. Yes, I can solve this with some research. That's what I need. Well, I don't need any research to tell me that orange soda is so much better than boring old water. There we go.
Can you help me settle something? I. Dot. Dot. Yep. Huh? What is it? Yeah. Dot. That's me. Huh? What? Were you sleeping with your eyes open? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, was I? Okay. Okay. Um, can you help me settle a debate? Okay. What would you like? Orange soda or water? See, I say orange soda because it is filled with, with orange sugary goodness. Mm. Or would you prefer just plain water? That's what Cat likes, and I just don't get it. If you had the choice between the two, why would you choose water? I don't get it. So, what would you like? Uh, if I had to pick? Yeah, yeah. If I had to make a choice, uh, I, I, uh, I'd pick, um, I don't know. It's okay, it's okay, it's just soda. Or is this not about soda? I don't think so. I just feel lost. Hmm. Is this about Edison inviting you to join him at HQ2? Is it that obvious? Uh, a little. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what to do. If someone would just tell me the right thing, I'd do it. Wait, you! Tony, you're older and wiser and have more life experience. You can tell me what to choose. No, no, I don't think I can do that. And just tell me what's right, Tony, and I'll do it. I want to make the right choice. Should I stay here or go to HQ2 with Edison? Just tell me, Tony, tell me. Hey, hey it's okay, it's okay. Let's just, let's slow down. Let's, uh, let's just take a deep breath. Ready? <sighs> okay. I know it can be really tough to make these big decisions, but what's great is you're not alone. You see, in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus reminds us that He is the light of the world. And when things might seem dark or confusing, we can rely on Him to lead us. Do you want to say a verse with me? Sure. Okay. It goes like this. John 8, 12. John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness. Man, I've been going about this all wrong. I just need to go to Jesus. He'll tell me what to do. It's always good to have a reminder of Jesus' love and guidance for us. That's for sure. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. <sighs> Dear Jesus, Thank you for who you are. You already know I'm confused right now about this choice. Should I stay here or should I go to HQ2 with Edison? Please just give me a sign. Actually, just tell me what you want me to do. Like, you could put a message on the computer or in the sky. Or you could do something with the lights. Or you could turn water into orange soda. Whatever you decide, just tell me. And I'll follow. Amen. Okay, um, Jesus, please give me a sign, like right now, or now. Please just tell me what to do. Oh, sorry, Dot. Am I interrupting something? Nope, nothing happening here. Have you decided whether or not you're gonna go to HQ2 with Edison? Not yet. It would be much easier to decide if someone would give me a sign. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. Jesus doesn't always work the way we want him to, but that doesn't mean he doesn't love us and isn't guiding us. It's about focusing on him. Focusing on him? I was just praying to him. I know, but following Jesus is about more than that. It's about spending time with him, learning his ways, letting his truth grow in your spirit and leading your way. I know a perfect video from the archives about this. Let's check it out. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. This book 
is alive. Jesus traveled, teaching about the kingdom of heaven, and crowds followed him. They didn't know yet that Jesus is the king, but he taught them how to live as people of his kingdom. People do good, said Jesus, because of the good in their hearts. People do evil when evil is in their hearts. God wants to make your heart like his heart. Don't worry about things like food and clothes, said Jesus. Put God first in your life. Obey him. Trust him. He will make sure that you have what you need. Jesus taught this prayer. Father God, your name is holy. Reign on earth like you reign in heaven. Meet our needs today. Help us obey you. All power is yours forever. Then Jesus told a story. One man built his house on a rock. A big storm came. Because the house was built on a rock, it did not fall down. Another man built his house on soft and shifting sand. A big storm came. Because the house was built on sand, it fell down with a crash. The things I teach you are like the rock, said Jesus. Put my words into action, and you will be like the man who built his house on a rock. When we spend time with Jesus and read about him in the Bible, we learn his ways. That makes us like the man who built his house on the rock. I definitely want to build my life and choices on the rock and not on shifting sand. Me too. And as your friend, I see that you're already spending time with Jesus and learning his ways. If he wants you to do something, he'll show you. Thanks, Kat. Sometimes I feel like I need to figure out everything by myself and then I feel bad when I can't. Does that ever happen to you? More than you know. Without Jesus' example in our lives, sometimes it feels like we're wandering in the dark. Kind of like when my batteries ran out during flashlight tag. Exactly like that. But the good news is we never have to figure it out on our own. We're never wandering in the dark. Jesus' life in the Bible shows us how to live. I'm so glad you interrupted my prayer time today. And I'm really glad that we have Jesus' example to follow in the Bible. Me too. Do you want me to let you get back to it? Actually, I kind of left a mess down in the hub. I should probably go clean that up. It's as bad. Mm. Hey, Todd, still at it? Nope, thank goodness. Just cleaning up my mess. Well, hey, do you need any help? Sure. Still stuck on drinking orange soda. Guilty as charged. Does this mean that you've made a decision about staying or going with Edison? I think so. At first, I just really wanted God to give me a sign. But then you and Kat reminded me that since I follow Jesus, he'll light my way. It's so easy to want to figure out everything ahead of time. But sometimes it's just about taking the next best step you can. Absolutely. Since Jesus is the light of the world, when tough times or hard decisions come, you won't be left in the dark. He will give you the direction, the strength, the courage, and the wisdom to help you find what your next steps are. Thanks, Tony. I really needed to hear that today. I think I know what to do. Oh, oh, almost forgot why I came in here. So I found some batteries for the flashlights. So are you up for a game of flashlight tag later? Oh, it's on. <sighs> here goes nothing. Hey, Dud. I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. Hey. Really? Oof. Seems like it's been a really long day here. <laughs> I figured out what I'm going to do. It wasn't an easy choice to make, but Tony and Kat reminded me that since I follow Jesus, I have his light to guide me. I am so proud of you, and I'm so honored that you invited me to come to HQ2 with you. But I know Jesus is guiding me to stay here. I'm still going to miss you a lot. I understand. I'll miss you too, but you need to go where Jesus is leading you. That's always best. Plus, we'll be able to have more video chats like this one. We better. You're going to do great things at HQ2, Edison. Thanks. I'm still pretty nervous, but like you, I know it's where Jesus wants me to be. That's so important. Keep trusting the light and direction of Jesus. He'll give you the courage and the wisdom to find your next right steps at HQ2. Thanks for the encouragement, Doc. 
It means a lot. Of course. Now I'm supposed to meet some of the others down in the lounge for flashlight tag. Talk to you soon? Talk to you soon. Uh, have fun. B make sure you bring extra batteries. I know you always forget them. My name is Dot, and I'm part of Connect HQ. I learned a great verse today that I'd like to share with you. It goes like this. John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness. Jesus is the light of the world. When we try to live without him, it's like we're wandering in the dark. But we don't have to stay in the dark. When Jesus came to earth, he showed us how to live. When we spend time with him and choose to follow his way, he is our light giving us wisdom and courage for our next right step. We're like the wise man who built his house on a rock, steady and strong. I had a really hard time today, trying to figure out if I should go with Edison at HQ too. But my friends helped me see that Jesus is always here for me, guiding me. The more time I spend with him praying and reading the Bible, the more I'll understand the next step he wants me to take. When life gets hard or you don't know what to do next, don't forget, when you feel like you're in the dark, let Jesus be your light. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. You know, we could just start now and then Dodd could join us later. Yeah, she'll be here soon. You're not still afraid of that leaping lounge lemur sneaking up on you, are you? Tony, we told you that's not real. <sighs> Were you guys about to start without me? Uh -uh. Tony wanted to. Hmm, huh. I see how it is. Watch out for that leaping lounge lemur, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> what a, no, I know it's not real. That's not funny. Oh. Shadow puppets are a lot harder to make than I thought they were. Do you think Tony will believe this is the leaping lounge lemur? Maybe I should go a little easier on him. Whenever you face tough times in life, Jesus wants to help you. He wants to help you make the next right choice. If you've never made the choice to follow Jesus, make him your leader and number one friend, you can do that today. Just remember your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk to a parent or a leader you trust. Flashlights are bright, but Jesus is brighter. He can help us light our way when we're feeling lost. We'll see you next week. <laughs>